The new BMW M3 and M4 are my kind of cars. Rear wheel drive, 425 brake horsepower and 0-62 in around 4 seconds. They both look great, sound hot and offer the kind of sex appeal, performance and driver involvement that you'd give your left clutch foot for. As actual machines however, there's nothing new to see here. 3 litres of turbocharged straight 6 launches the car forwards and sideways while sprinklings of carbon fibre help keep weight down and centre of gravity low. They're both remarkable vehicles in isolation, but compared to BMW's new flagship sports car, the i8, they are also very unremarkable. To start with, the i8 looks like something only reserved for blockbuster movies. It's striking and fascinating with curves and scoops designed to make the sports car of the future super slippery. It's the type of car that takes a while to warm to aesthetically, which, if I'm honest, is something I'm still working on. That face, Rhyhorn from Pokemon. Am I right? And look at that. The i8 has actually eaten, or is trying to give birth to, a Porsche 911. You got it? Yeah. Once you've seen that, it cannot be unseen. Underneath all of that striking air tunnel bravado sits something truly amazing. At the back of the i8 you will find a conventional 1.5 litre three cylinder engine. It sits underneath here somewhere, there's lots of bolts and nuts in the way, I can't get to it. It's also the same engine that you will find in the new Mini, except that this one has got a little bit more power. In fact, it's got a ridiculous amount of power. 228 brake horsepower and 236 pound foot of torque. From an engine with only three cylinders, bearing in mind it's probably only that big, that is an obscene amount. And that engine drives the rear wheels. At the front of the car, we have got an electric motor. It sits underneath here and it powers the front wheels. That makes this car, when you've got your foot flat to the floor, four wheel drive. Now, thanks to a total combined output of 357 brake horsepower and 420 pound foot of torque, the i8 will launch 0 to 62 in just 4.4 seconds and is also good for 155 miles an hour limited. The most impressive fact, however, is that it achieves these types of figures while also achieving 135 mpg and wait for it, 49 grams per kilometer of CO2. That is minute. For a bit of context, 49 grams per kilometer of CO2 is roughly the same amount that I emit every time I yawn. Look. Oh, 49 grams per kilometer of CO2. And all that from a hybrid sports car good for 4.4 seconds. So then, a mini engine in the back that turns the rear wheels, an electric motor doing the donkey work up front and more road presence than a GTR. Yeah, I went there. So what's it like to drive? Now the first thing you notice with the i8 is the noise. That's a really, really good noise. And all of that, remember, from a 1.5 litre triple that sits behind me. For a three cylinder engine, that is absolutely astonishing. It's thrummy, it's bassy, it sounds way more like a V6 or even a V8. That is really impressive, seriously impressive. Away from the awesome engine noise, you will also be very pleased to hear the horn. Yep, as you can hear, that's typical BMW horn, which is something that BMW drivers pay particular attention to. BMW drivers need a strong horn. It's like a firm hand to say to people, move, peasant, move out of my way. I am coming through. In the i8, you get that. The car is edgy, it's completely different. It's like nothing else you've ever seen. It's like something straight out of Terminator. It is that futuristic. I mean, even little things like looking in the rear view mirror and just seeing the curves on this thing. This car has been designed in a wind tunnel. <laughs> the wings on this, they kind of arch up like that. It's like a couple of elbows just pointing up. It looks weird from these mirrors. Elvish ears. Elvish ears? Elvish ears. You think they look like elvish ears? Elvish. All right, we'll go with elvish ears. All I'm seeing is elvish ears. Inside the i8's cabin, you have got every single thing that you want from a £100,000 sports car. There is leather, there is magnesium behind the dashboard. The steering wheel is nice and small. It's, for a steering wheel, that's actually really attractive. I mean, have a look at this dashboard as well. Swooping lines there and there, and you've got you know the usual kind of infotainment system. And I've also got BMW iDrive. 
The interior is airy, it's fresh. The seats are supportive and they're really, really pretty. It's magnificent. Now, as an out-and-out -out sports car, the IA absolutely nails it. It is feelsome, it goes like the clappers, it looks spectacular. It's noisy, it's off. Oh, it's just amazing. This thing rides smoothly, but it rides confidently. It's four-wheel drive. It doesn't weigh a lot. It doesn't feel like it weighs a lot. It's nimble, it's poised. For me, this is the best sports car that money can buy at the moment. Granted, it should be for 100 grand, but as a complete package, this is it. This is the future. This is the future. And I'm in it.